The regular season is winding down with just three weeks of high school football action left. And tonight, Erie Sports Now director John Leidig is joining us from the game of the week at Fairview High School with well, big implications that are on the line, John. Good evening. Eva, there certainly are, and good evening here out at Jack Beswick Stadium. As we get set for tonight, by the end of this evening, we could either have plenty of clarity or even more chaos in the Region 5 race. Fairview comes in as the only team unbeaten in region play on the year, and with a victory tonight over Corey, could well establish themselves to be the region champions by the end of the season. They come in tonight, though, battling quite the challenges over the last couple of weeks in their most recent loss against Oil City. That's when they lost our Starting quarterback Vidi Campoli to the year uh, for the year rather to a knee injury. They have turned to Carlos Amino over the last couple of weeks, but even last week he was injured and had to be replaced by Joseph O'Reilly. Nonetheless, the defense stood tall against a Fort LaBeouf team to keep that region record unblemished so far. And coming into tonight, they face a Corey team they know can be quite the challenge, but they feel this is the group that has been building towards what this program has wanted to accomplish, and they want to take the next step towards a region title and even more this season if they can get a victory tonight. You know, our, we've had guys that really stepped up when we need them in games. You know, we play a lot of teams, and we have been able to step up in the region and like in the spots where we need to step up when they're stronger at one thing. Well, it's going to take a, a you know a Hercules and effort to to get to get it done. Um, Corey is is very dynamic. They've got a lot of weapons, and uh, you know they they fly around, and so it's going to take a lot of discipline football by us. And and I think our guys are ready for it. And you know. Um, but to get the chance to be in this situation is what we've been striving for, and, and we got a shot to do it. Now coming up in the next half hour of Fairview's opponent tonight in Corey, they're looking to do something that they haven't done in nearly a decade. We'll talk to the head coach on what's been the biggest key to success and how they continue that trend coming up here tonight on the road. Reporting live from Jack Bestwick Stadium at Fairview High School, I'm John Leidick for Erie Sports Now, Erie News Now at 5. We'll be right back.